White Interior makes a new appearance on Model 3, and Tesla is looking to suppliers for refunds. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 427 for July 24th, 2018. We start the day on Twitter where emails went out to Model 3 reservation holders today that announced the availability of the white interior on dual motor equipped cars without the performance upgrade. The email reads, quote, We're now offering premium white interior for every Model 3 long range car with dual motor all wheel drive. Inside, a continuous white decor replaces open poor wood on the dash, providing a more open modern feel. All seats and door trims are wrapped in stain-resistant material for a polished feel throughout the cabin, end quote. Well, that didn't take long to push the feature down to the next trim line. A couple of conclusions could be drawn from this development. Either performance orders have subsided, which, given the price, is entirely possible, or they feel they have the capacity and supplies to now be able to support the dual-motor trim line now. I'm curious as to if the white interior will make it to the rear-wheel drive configuration or to the standard battery and non-premium upgrades versions of the car. I could see both worlds, to be honest. It would make sense, when calling it the premium white interior, that it would only be available on the highest trims of the car. But I'm sure Tesla also likes money, and I have to think it would be pretty hard to turn away people if there's demand for a high-margin feature at a low-margin trim. Hopefully we'll get to see at the end of the year what options are available for the standard battery cars and be able to finally get the full picture of how Model 3 can be configured. Lastly, this episode we look at an article from the Wall Street Journal via Inside EVs since I can't pass the paywall. Per the article, a leaked memo reveals that Tesla has asked at least one supplier to, quote, return what it calls a meaningful amount of money of its payments since 2016, end quote. The exact amount is unknown at this time. While the memo says that all suppliers are being asked the same, the journal couldn't confirm any other entities being asked for refunds. The request was confirmed by Elon when he responded to a tweet regarding the Electrek version of the article when he said, quote, Only costs that actually apply to Q3 and beyond will be counted. It would not be correct to apply historical cost savings to current quarter, end quote. This reaction may seem a little odd, not knowing the background, but nearly universally, headlines pointed to this being a measure to reach profitability this quarter, some a little more sensational than others, if you know what I'm saying. Tesla then responded with an official statement, saying, quote, Negotiation is a standard part of the procurement process, and now that we're in a stronger position with the Model 3 production ramping, it's a good time to improve our competitive advantage in this area. We've focused on reaching a more sustainable long-term cost basis, not just finding one-time reductions for this quarter, and that's good for Tesla, our shareholders, and our suppliers who will also benefit from our increasing production volume and future growth opportunities. We asked fewer than 10 suppliers for a reduction in total CapEx project spend for long-term projects that begin in 2016, but are still not complete, and any changes with these suppliers would improve our future cash flows, but not impact our ability to achieve profitability in Q3. The remainder of our discussions with suppliers are entirely focused on future parts price and design or process changes that will help us lower fundamental costs rather than prior period adjustments of CapEx projects. This is the right thing to do." End quote. Well, sounds fair enough to me. Renegotiating part costs after a year of production seems like something a major car manufacturer should do to ensure it's always got the best deal on supplies. You can check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're doing that, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks as usual to the super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Bruno Kudici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Raymer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sportline, and M- Michael Pastroni. If you can't support with dollars, feel free to leave a positive review for the show instead. If you have feedback for me, the, as always, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.